Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set your uh, worship on PSR E463. Okay, so it's a one thing to know how to play a keyboard, and also another thing to know how to set it. So in this tutorial, follow up with me. You will definitely learn the professional way to set your piano worship. Okay. Um, the first step is to put on your keyboard and when it is on you will see this interface grand piano okay the same formula also applies to different keyboard psroe series same step okay so the main voice we are going to be using for this tutorial is a uh, grand piano which is which is here already as soon as you turn on your keyboard then the next thing to do is uh, you, you locate your door so you, you check at the left side of your keyboard you see split you see door so hard click on door when you hard click on door it will show you strings okay so but the type of door voice we need is a sign string so to locate sign strings please use the yes button this yes button or plus or you use this round turn okay so for me I like using the yes button so when you click on yes it will go to chamber to go to Mercato to go to slow strange or strange until we see okay this is sign strange okay then when you have seen sign strange click on function to see your function look at this header you see function okay click on function then click on this right arrow okay then you see your draw volume please uh, set your draw volume to be 070 070 okay then click on this arrow again this right arrow your draw octave remove it from zero and put it minus one so to get your minus one in this keyboard you have to simply click on no if you look at the header it's written minus so just click on it Automatic, automatically it will change to d octave minus one so while looking at there you see that the door and um, button is not yet activated then after doing all these settings go back to the door then click on on it just a click our door uh, settings has been successfully activated then the next thing to do is to click on this uh, right thing again click on this one again okay click on it click on it we want to locate m volume okay okay another thing to consider is the release it's just like a sustain for your door up to but it's optional leave it okay then you see we are looking for m octave m octave Okay, your M. Okay, let's go to M volume first. The M volume is one two two, but I like setting it to be one one eight. Okay, so leave it on one one eight. I don't like too much noise. That's why. Okay, then the next thing is to click on this right again. You see M octave. Okay, this M octave is kind of optional, but let me tell you the function. This M octave, okay, is for your. For your keyboard voice to be within this range from here to this place okay okay let's assume that you prefer playing keyboard in this place okay you can set it but if you want to be playing from this uh, angle from then you have to change it to minus one okay And, and the main voice we got from this one it will not be very deep here okay so for me I like uh, using M octave M, M octave minus one okay why some people like using M octave zero if you're using M octave zero you have a better advantage of uh, running scales let's assume you want to run scales you still have more free code 
Do you understand? You still have more space to run scale. But if you are using this uh, um, M up to minus one, to run scale is just very short. So it's just very short, okay? But there are a lot uh, attached to this um, uh, minus one. It's just based on choice, okay? Then as, as soon as it's done, the next thing to consider is um, your sustain. Some people write sustain, but here yeah, it is called M release. Okay, M release. All right. So if you're not using a sustain pedal like me, I'm I'm using a sustain pedal, so I don't actually need to use this M release. So let's assume that you don't have a sustain pedal. Okay. Then you have to set it to be one one zero. Okay, one one zero to activate your sustain. Okay, because it's not right playing worship without a sustain, it, it, it won't balance, okay? So, to add your sustain to the keyboard setting, you click on M release, okay? But if you already have your sustain pedal, just like me, you just leave it default. Just leave it default. Don't do anything on the M release, okay? Then, as soon as it's done, you go, go back here again and click on harmony. Okay, harmony is a very good uh, button. So these are your uh, keyboard with sound. Okay. 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 It sounds very good. Another thing to consider uh, is these two uh, buttons here. Yeah? We have the keyboard backing, we have a uh, knob assign, we have the A button and we have the B button. So mo most keyboardists don't know what these are used for, um, but they see a uh, live control, okay? Basically, this A button is being used for cutoff, it's being used for reverb, DSP parameter, but the uh, cutoff section is what I want to teach you. So let's assume that your keyboard uh, life control button is like this this eye is going to be sounding it's not good okay so to be able to set it well eh, you have to write adjust it okay write adjust this thing write adjust it okay like this okay then the the b uh, button or control right adjust it to Okay, then this is it to sound. All right, everything is well balanced. But before that, um, your knob assign must be on one. Okay, your knob assign must be on one. How to assign your knob? Okay, see the see the knob assign. If I click on it, to go to two. Go to try, go to four, then to five. Okay, so it must definitely be on one. Let's assume that it is on three. Bring it to one because one is cut off. Okay, then it must be on one. Okay, so these are to sound. Okay, very awesome and very great. So that is how to set your uh, PS arrow. E four C three. You know this is the most. Uh, let me say, the most common keyboard uh, we have in Nigeria, especially um, churches that are growing yet, and, and some of the keyboardists are finding it difficult to set it for worship. So follow my instructions. I believe you should be able to set your keyboard very professional. Okay, please, if you do enjoy this video, I want you to do a favor: like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video, comment and subscribe. Okay for more video tutorials check out my next video i'll be teaching you how to set your praise on keyboard thank you